Good morning, y'all. Yes, even here. It's an early on a Saturday morning. But we're not here to talk about that. Yet. So on April 9th, 1942, after three months of fighting in the Battle of Bataan, what became known as the Bataan Death March began. It started with, while estimates are... <laughs> widely scattered, started with thousands of uh, Filipino soldiers and hundreds of Americans, and this 65 miles in between camps was particularly brutal. Very little food, very little water, basically whatever they could wring out of their sweat-drenched clothes is all they had. Their captors, sorry about the lighting, a little cloudy out. So the captures again were particularly brutal. Not only starving but beating these troops as they marched along. Stragglers and anybody who fell behind along the way were shot on sight. So throughout the course of the 65 miles literally thousands of Filipinos and hundreds of Americans were killed. With that borne in mind we come to today. We're at Pearson Springs Park in Maryville, Tennessee with the members of the 932nd uh, Junior Air Force ROTC and we're going to be conducting our annual Bataan Death March. Now these kids and I are going to have it significantly easier. We're only doing about 15 miles and rather than starvation, they will have MREs along the way. And me with my earbuds, my phone, and my camelback. Still, I'm old, I'm fat, and I'm completely out of shape. So let's see how I fare over these 15 miles. And hopefully I won't have to make any troops cry this year. Yeah, here they go, they're at it again, they're moving out, they're moving in. Hoorah! So the march is done. We're back home now. We got all the cadets across the line. No bitching, no griping, no belly aching. A lot of sore legs and a lot of sore feet, though. <laughs> and not just the cadets. Uh, got a man in 16 miles, about six hours. So, we're a bunch of high school kids and a bunch of old men, not too bad. Uh, had, a, had a good time with them. Uh, and really the purpose of it today was not only uh, to commemorate the Bataan Death March, um, but also... Uh, to, um, but also to raise money for donations for Smoky Mountain service dogs uh, that train and provide service animals for wounded veterans. Um, so, and I'll leave a link uh, to their site down below so that if you like, you can feel free to donate uh, or donate to a a like. Um, organization in your area um, you know these service members come home with you know believe me they come home with all sorts of things wrong with them and most never come all the way back uh, some of them are more physically injured and some of them more psychologically injured and these service animals really help out with both cases um, I'm also going to leave, uh, so again, I'll leave a link to them in the pinned comment uh, below. But I'm also going to leave a link for uh, uh, a video that they have on their site. Uh, it's a patriotic video. I, I think everybody should watch at least once. And if you can do so without bringing a tear to your eye, you might want to rethink your patriotic. <laughs> Just kidding. Well, maybe. 
just watch the video. Uh, again, like and subscribe to the channel here. Support your local veterans, but also support your local junior ROTCs. Uh, they didn't have a lot of them when I was in school around here, and now there are several schools. They don't get a whole lot of funding, and as a matter of fact, the junior ROTC here um, subsidizes part of their funding uh, by doing work for the school, uh, such as, you know, taking care of the parking and concessions and tickets and um, cleanup uh, for the football games. So, yeah, until next time.